Well, I've, I've uh, had a, a wonderful morning. I'm early afternoon out with Ray and Lauren, looking around the park and trying to get the sense a little bit about what a warden does um, during the day, well, throughout the year. And it's a fantastically inspiring experience for me. Not only is Skellithold just a very beautiful place, there's something about being alongside around people who are just having the time of their lives on holiday. It's, it's infectious, makes you feel at ease as, as well. But it's a beautiful place and, and it doesn't, you know, stay that way with, you know, by accident. It needs inter intervention. And so being with Ray and Lauren and seeing the work that needs to be done to keep the place clean, tidy, safe, it's, it's something that's for me a great insight to see how you know a very significant employer in our community how it operates at, um, at the height of summer so so hi it's Ray um, I'm here today with Tim Farron and we're going to look around the park this is an area it's been closed off since we had Storm Irwin in November and we're opening it to the public again today a bit like a ribbon ceremony Yes, not cutting a ribbon but taking down some signs because <laughs> there is no longer danger, apparently. We always wanted that side that went right through the trees. Yeah. Yeah. Do six miles, you'd run three miles away from home and then come back and across this park. Beautiful. Well, my mum used to work in County Hall. Oh, right. And when Fee and I go there now, yeah. we stay in the travel lodge. Yeah, yeah. There. Unknowingly, um, form an opinion about our business. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I'm off to go for a run now. So here's, here's the uh, here's, here's sort of the proof, and there's no better place to start. So you, you may or may not see me later, but thanks for having me. <laughs> 